In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect SMTP to Go with your domain. The domain provider I'll be using is Ventura IP. The steps are very similar with whatever domain provider you're using. If you need assistance, just reach out. Links to SMTP to Go and Ventura IP will be in the description below. I'll be assuming you've already got accounts with SMTP to Go and Ventura IP. If you don't, my affiliate links are in the description below. Just pause the video and go make your accounts, then come back. I'm not sure if the accounts force you to use two-factor, but make sure you do activate two-factor authentication, just for that added security. Once you log into SMTP to go, you'll land on the dashboard. Here you can see how many emails you've sent in the month. You currently do have a free plan, which enables you to send 1,000 emails per month. Once you require more emails, you can just upgrade your plan at any time. First thing we need to do is verify your domain. Over on the left, click on Verified Senders. Over here, you'll see all the domains that you've verified. If you haven't done any, it'll just be blank. These domains will be the only ones that will be able to send emails using the user accounts you create. Let's add a domain. I'm going to click on Add Sender Domain. In here, you'll have to add a domain. If you don't own a domain yet, go to Ventura IP with the link in the description below create a domain and then come back here. My domain is smtp 2 godemocomau These are the DNS settings you have to enter against your domain. Log into your domain provider and you'll be able to access these settings. In this case, we'll be using Ventura IP. Otherwise, if you have someone who looks after your domain, just send them this information. They'll know what to do. If they don't, just send them this video as well. Let's now head over to Ventura IP. If you haven't got an account yet, the links in the description below. Once you've logged in, you can register your domain or you can select it from below. Once you've located your domain, just click on the DNS button. Before you start, scroll up and make sure the setting is set to 40. I already have some records set against this domain. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see the new entry field. Let's now head back over to the SMTP to go tab. Take note of the record type, which is CNAME. Under the hostname column, click on copy. Then head back over to Ventura, select CNAME and paste the hostname. Now, if you're not using Ventura, just take note of the hostname and the value fields and enter them into your own provider's respective fields. For the TTL value, I temporarily put one in there. This helps with the DNS population and allows us to test our settings quicker. Just remember to come back and set it to 3600. Now go back and repeat the process. Now for the last entry, I'm going to have to modify the hostname of Link. I've already got a DNS record that's using Link, so it can't be the same. Once you've modified the hostname, you can go ahead and copy it across. Once that finishes saving, head over to the SMTP to go tab and click verify and with any luck, it'll all be ready to go. The domain providers are all different, so if it's not ready, just wait a few minutes and click verify again. We're looking for green ticks. All right, three green ticks, which is what we want to see. If you don't have the three green ticks yet, just wait 10 minutes and then hit verify again. If you don't have three green ticks after about 10 or 15 minutes, just double check your work. If you still don't have it after 60 minutes, report it to your domain provider. Your domain provider might tell you to wait 24 to 48 hours. If it still doesn't work after that, just sign up to Venturia IP using my affiliate link below. Over on the left, click on verified senders. 
In here you'll be able to see all the domains that are allowed to send emails from your account. For the last step of the video, go back over to your Ventura IP tab and for the entries you just created, make sure you change the TTL from 1 second to 3600 seconds. Now you're ready to create your users in SMTP to go. I've currently got users set up for phone systems, printers and CCTV boxes. In my next video I'll be showing you how to set this up on a phone system. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe or buy me a coffee. Thank you.